Hi there and thank you for joining me. Now this video is called Best Buy. It is kind of a standalone topic but it's also a follow-on video to the one I have made on direct and inverse proportion because Best Buy is a form of direct proportion. We are looking at buying the highest amount of product we can for the amount that we're spending. I hope you find it useful. Let's start by having a look at what best buy actually means then. If we are searching for the best buy, we are not necessarily looking for the cheapest item. We are looking for the... Let's... Probably the best way... Let's start... Probably the best way to start is to look at an example of how this can work. So I've just been on the internet and I have just found the price for one can of baked beans. Now baked beans, they come in cans of 415 grams. The price I found for one can was £1.15. But I also had a look to see what price if I were to buy 24 cans of baked beans at 415 grams. And I found the price for that was £19.65. Now, let's have a look at the golden rule for finding best value. And here it is. We divide the amount of the product that you're buying by the price in pence. I'll come back to that to find the amount per penny. Let's break that down. So the amount in this case, we have two amounts here. I've missed the one in the center here. We have two amounts. We have one baked bean can, which is 415 grams, and we've 24 cans. So we need to work out the total amount of that. We divide the amount by the price and we put in pence. The reason for that is you may find some items are in pence, some are in pounds. You need to get them the same. Pence is the easiest because it breaks it down. It tells you literally what weight of baked beans you will get for every penny that you spend. And that's what you're looking for the best deal. So let's work this out. Item one was one can. So that literally is one times 415. So we have got 415 grams. We are going to divide that by the price in pence. So that is 115 pence. If we do that, we find that we are actually getting 3.5. Six zero. Now these decimals do continue. I'm going to three decimal places here. You may have to go to more than that. I'll give you an example shortly. And this is grams per penny. So for every penny that you have spent, you have bought 3.608 grams. Let's have a look at the second example, which in this case, we've bought 24 cans in a pack. Now that is actually 9,960 grams in total. So we need to divide that by the price in pence. And in this case, it was 19 pounds 65. So 1,965. So 9,960 total weight divided by the price in pence, 1,960. Now that gives us 5.8. 068 grams per penny. Now that we've done that, we can make a comparison and straight away we can see that we are getting more of the product per penny if we buy the 24 pack than we are if we buy a single can. Quite often that's what you'd expect, but it doesn't always work out that way. Let's look at some more examples to see if we can make this nice and clear. So for this second example, again, I've looked on the internet and I found some prices. This time it's for cans of cola. So if I want to buy a single can, I can do so for 99 pence. I can, however, buy a six pack of cola. That would cost me £3.75. And I've worked out the total amount six times 330 is 1,980 millilitres. 30 cans, which works out at 9,900 millilitres, is £22.50. So let's figure out 
the best value and I'll call them deal one deal two and deal three so for deal one we are going to take the amount that's 330 and we're going to divide by 99 if we do that we get the answer of 3.33 now this time we're working in milliliters so it means we are buying 3.33 milliliters for every penny that we spend two i'm going to buy six cans so my maths is going to be 1980 total milliliters divided by don't forget price in pence so that's 375 and if i do that i find i am actually now getting 5.28 milliliters for every penny i spend so straight away i can see that buying the six cans i get better value i'm getting more for my money let's have a look at the 30 can deal and in this case 30 cans is 9,900 milliliters. And again, divide by the price in pence, which is 2250. Now, you might expect that if you are actually buying 30 cans, you're going to get a better deal. But in fact, this works out at exactly 4.4 milliliters for the penny. Not maybe what you'd expect. In fact, you are not getting as much cola for your penny on the larger deal than you are on the six pack. So the best value for money in this example is to buy a pack of six cans of cola. You are getting the highest amount of cola for the money that you're spending. And for my final example, I want to go back to the point I mentioned earlier where maybe you have to go to more decimal places. I've looked at cornflakes. Again, on the internet, I have found that I can buy one 24 gram pack of cornflakes and that would cost me 50 pence. But if I buy a pack of 20, which is a total of 480 grams, it would cost me £9.99. Now, again, let's have a look at how this works out. So my first deal is just to buy the single pack. It is therefore 24 divided by 50. Now, 24 divided by 50 means that I am getting 0 0.48 grams for every penny that I spend. If instead I go for the multi-pack and buy a pack of 20, I am therefore buying 480 grams and the price in pence again is 999. Now, if you... Do this on a calculator, you'll find that the answer is not 0.48, but it then continues and in fact recurs at 048, 048, and so on. You are going to have to, in an answer, take your answer into the decimals to show that there are further digits in this second example, because here the prices are incredibly similar. This one is exactly 0 0.48 grams per penny. This one is 0 0.48 and a tiny little bit more grams per penny. The multi-pack does end up as the best deal, but only just. And I would expect that you would at least show the first maybe five decimal places. And that's it. You'll find questions very similar to the examples that I've just put on the video there. I will put a link at the bottom of this video to the original proportion one and uh, I hope you find that useful as well. Please do subscribe to my channel, it really does help and hopefully I will see you in further videos. Thank you.